As the world turns to the web, everybody seems to be shooting content, but you can't shoot content that stands out without the right audio. And to get great audio, you need the right microphone. That's why we here at bestreviews.com are looking into three of the most popular brands for shooting audio for web content between Rode, DJI, and Hollyland. Hi, I'm Jacob Palmer from bestreviews.com, and we're here today to help you simplify your purchasing decision. Let's take a look. The Rode system we tested includes one receiver, two transmitters with built-in microphones, three windscreens, one cable for recording audio directly to a camera, three USB to USB-C chargers for charging and recording audio to computers, and a carrying pouch. It costs about $300. There's also about a $200 version with only one transmitter. We wish it came with more accessories like some of Rode's more expensive microphone sets, but you can at least grab what you might need separately. Plus, we thought the carrying case was too thin and didn't leave enough room for the accessories that are included. So for that, we give it a five out of 10. The DJI system we tested comes with one receiver, one transmitter with a built-in microphone, one windscreen, a mic clip magnet to secure it to you, one cable to record audio to a camera, one hot shoe adapter to attach it to a camera, one adapter each to record to USB-C or lightning-based devices, one charging cable that splits so you can charge both the transmitter and receiver, a zippered storage bag for everything, and a partridge in a pear tree. Just kidding. It cost about $220 and we loved it all 10 out of 10. The Hollyland system we tested comes with one receiver, two transmitters with built-in microphones, two windscreens, one cable to record audio to a camera, one cable to record audio to computers and smartphones using a three and a half millimeter jack, and a charging case. It costs about $130. The only negative we had was the lack of adapters to record to USB-C and lightning devices, but those can be grabbed separately. So for all this, we give it a nine out of 10. The most important feature of any microphone you'll find on the market is how quality is the sound that it captures. We found the Rode captured some of the best sound of the five mics we tested. Our voices sounded nice and full with a good warmth to it. And so for that, we're gonna give it an eight out of 10. The DJI meanwhile really blew us away, having easily the best sound out of everything we tested. Our voice sounded full and bold and it easily overpowered any environmental noise that was occasionally captured. 10 out of 10. The Hollyland captured better audio than the other microphones we tested in its lower tier price range. And honestly, its quality was comparable to the Rode. And so for that, it clocks in at eight out of 10. Now, what you're gonna learn on your path to creating better content is that there's constantly noise around you and that can make for worse audio. That's where noise cancellation features come in. The Rode's noise cancellation was acceptable with it still picking up a little ambient noise while recording outside, seven out of 10. The DJI's noise cancellation was just as incredible as its audio quality, thanks in key part to a built-in high pass filter that cancels out low frequency sounds like that pesky refrigerator hum, 10 out of 10. Unlike the Rode and DJI, the Hollyland has active noise cancellation. This was usually a good thing, but at times it could be so strong as to kill the sounds we wanted or even make our voice occasionally sound overly processed and flat. You can turn it off, but we would have preferred to be able to adjust its strength. Eight out of 10. Sensitivity set by raising and lowering gain makes it easier to capture audio. Too low and you'll need to put the mic way too close to your face for comfort too high and it'll make it much more difficult to capture clean audio. The road sensitivity was solid. It picked up a little too much background noise, but didn't make us sound blown out. Eight out of 10. Once again, the DJI was stellar and we hope you're starting to pick up on the trend. We had no issues capturing our voice, even when the microphone was pointed away from us. 10 out of 10. The Hollyland also performed admirably, though you may need to play with the gain and active noise cancellation to find the right balance for your recording session. For this, we'll give it an eight out of 10. For beginners, having a product that's easy to set up is crucial. We found all three microphones were capable of recording right out of the box, but the Rode unfortunately buried some of its most important settings in the accompanying PC and mobile apps. And so for this, we're gonna have to give it a five out of 10. Once again, the DJI impressed us. All of its settings are easily accessible on its screen, so you can get right into your project, 10 out of 10. The Hollyland is also easy to set up and adjust its settings, but the lack of a screen like the Rode and DJI will knock some points off in our scoring, eight out of 10. 
Overall, the Rode's reliance on its companion apps and the difficult to use instructions adds some unnecessary stress to the experience. It gets better once you've taken the time to learn everything, but we're still going to score it at a 6 out of 10. Overall, the experience of using the DJI was a true treat across the board with no added stressors or frustrations. 10 out of 10. And overall, as has been stated, the Hollyland's user experience really only falters because of its lack of the screen. Once you've gotten used to it though, it's smooth sailing. 8 out of 10. There are a few key differentiators left, and those boil down to storage and appearance. Each of the Rode's transmitters offer up to 40 hours of compressed audio storage or 7 hours of uncompressed audio storage. We only tested the compressed and found it was excellent. 10 out of 10. Its appearance though is a little plain and blocky, so we're going to give it a 7 out of 10. The DJI transmitter can store up to 14 hours of compressed audio. We found about a minute took up to 30 to 50 megabytes, which roughly translates to about three and a half hours. That's still plenty of time for most, so we'll give it a nine out of 10. Its appearance is classical, and you can tell at a glance that it's of good quality, so we'll give it a nine out of 10. The Hollyland does not offer internal storage, so you must bring your camera, computer, phone with you to a recording session, zero out of 10. Its appearance is similar to the DJI, but is slicker and slimmer, so we'll give it a 10 out of 10 there. Now, if you're choosing between these three microphones, you can't go wrong. They capture great audio, come with great features, and are all available at a reasonable price. But that's not what we here at Best Reviews do. We want to give it a final score. The Rode's final overall score is an 8 out of 10. It's an excellent microphone system that's brought down a few pegs by its lack of accessories, its reliance on companion apps, and its difficult to parse instructions. It's excellent for recording multiple sources at once though, if that's what you're optimizing for. The DJI's final overall score is a 10 out of 10, and that's why we're naming it bestreviews.com's official best of the best lavalier microphone. It's brilliant in every regard, with the only downside being that it comes with just one microphone instead of two. However, that's easy to fix with a $330 set that includes a second microphone and throws in a charging case. The Hollyland's final overall score is a 9 out of 10. It's bestreviews.com's official best bang for your buck microphone. Despite some small issues like the sometimes too strong active noise cancellation or the lack of a screen. Once again, I'm Jacob Palmer from bestreviews.com. We hope this video helped you simplify your purchasing decision. Make sure to give us a like if it did, and also hit that little notification button so you never miss a useful product review from us ever again. Also, of course, share your thoughts below in the comment box.